Sometimes I see great software that suffers from poor onboarding. This can be really damaging to SaaS because onboarding plays such a big role in impacting product adoption and retention. If the onboarding experience is weak, your new customers might not even stay around to find out what's great about your product. So in this video, we'll take a look at the importance of getting your SaaS onboarding right. And at the end, I'll share my five tips on how you can improve it. So stick around. Hey, SaaS founder, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit subscribe to learn more about how to build a successful SaaS product from our team of experts who produce free content on a weekly basis. So onboarding plays an essential role in building trust and demonstrating value to your new users. If your onboarding fails to communicate how your product can solve their problem, then you run the risk of losing them at the first hurdle. So what should you include in a good onboarding flow? Well, a strong onboarding flow should welcome your new user and reinforce that your product can address their problems, i.e. the reason why they signed up. And you also want to showcase valuable features and benefits of your product. In the meantime, your aim is to also activate your user by getting them started using your product. There's always some friction associated with adoption, and this is where you should focus on making their job easier. This could be setting up an integration, inviting other users, or beginning a critical first step in your product's workflow. A useful way to think about onboarding is an exercise in orientation. It's costly to assume that your new user will figure out how to use your product themselves. So try not to overwhelm them with too much choice or frustrate them with overlays and prompts. So let's summarize where you should focus to significantly improve your onboarding. Firstly, deliver a strong personalized journey. Secondly, you want to demonstrate the value in your product. Thirdly, you want to enable your user to visualize success. And fourth is to get your user into their first workflow. If you can achieve these points, then you're off to a great start. Okay, so now that we've established the importance of onboarding, let's take a look at my top five tips on how to significantly improve your software onboarding. So here we go, starting with, first of all, you want to greet your new users, welcome them into your product and use a message or video or something that makes them feel connected and feel at home. They will be more engaged and they'll start to feel prepared for the onboarding that's to follow. Secondly, you want to showcase the value in your product. So highlight key features and articulate the associated benefits. You want to motivate your new users to visualize success using your software. Next, you can use progress indicators and checklists. Checklists are a great way to provide direction and a progress indicator helps motivate your new user to complete these tasks. You can also include a product walkthrough. So some users may need a guided tour to understand where key functionality resides within your product. And this is also something you can include in your checklist. You can also use action-driven tool tips. This will just help your user to complete tasks by preventing hover states and pop-ups containing useful descriptions and guidance in the context of their workflows. For more insights on building a successful SaaS product, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date with the latest industry trends and best design practices. You can also book a call with a SaaS expert using the link in the description to see how our team at UserActive can help you. Thanks for watching.